Hey guys, just continuing on. Um, previously, we created the spine setup um, and made sure that this rig that I've created here uh, scales uniformly, which it does. Next up, we're going to learn how to create a foot control. Um, well, more advanced foot control. So if we come in nice and close here, um, we have a foot control here, but what we want to do is um, generate uh, one extra joint for the ball here. And this is the toe, obviously. So we've got the ankle joint, the toe joint. Let's add another joint in here. So we can go skeleton, uh, insert joints. By clicking that and clicking this, uh, uh, the ankle, there you go. And then it runs perpendicular down it, see? Stop about here, there we go. So that's just showing you one way to create another joint. I'll call this one L underscore ball uh, joint. <laughs> Okay, which is, uh, I could call it foot, but I'll just call it ball joint. All right. And if you want to move the joint, hold D and bring it down. All right. There we go. So now I've got myself a, D, a there we go, left ankle. And then we've got the left ball and the left toe. All right. Awesome. So what we're going to do next is actually create um, three IK handles, right? So make sure they're um, IK rotates, not um, single chains. What do I mean by that? Go to skeleton, create IK handle, come into options. Make sure these ones are IK change, not rotate planar. See, rotate plane, change to chain. All right. So we're going to basically um, create three of them, one going from the hip to the ankle, which we've already got. The next one from the ankle to the ball, so I'll click ankle to the ball. And then from the ball whoop, to the toe. Okay, there we go. Actually, I've got to create, I didn't make that one, so let me do that one again. Skeleton, I'll just check it. Chain, good. From here to here. There we go. All right. Now, so we've got our um, ankle, we got our ball, and I'll actually call this one IK okay, uh, ankle. All right. I'll call this one IK ball just to help us and IK toe because it can get a little bit confusing after a while. Okay, ankle, toe, ball. I'll even bring this one down under that ball, toe. Next up, you want to create three locators. So create locator and bring them over. Um, and you need to name them basically heel locator, ball locator, and toe locator. So here's my first one. This will be the heel. So I'll place it in line. So I'm going to actually hold V to snap it and then bring it straight down and out a little bit. So I mentioned this one here will be called the heel underscore lock for locator. Okay, control. Now I'm going to modify, freeze the transforms. So it always goes back there. Control D. This one's going to be the, um, what did I state? It was going to be the ball lock. So just call that one ball. Remove the one. Um, modify, freeze. Once again, control D. Bring her over. Modify, freeze, and this will be toe lock. Toe lock. Actually, I'll put them all on toe in capital so they're easier for me to find. And here, see? At least that one. Okay, so I've got a heel, a ball, and a toe. And they're all zeroed out. Cool. It's important. Um, 
Now, what we want to do is parent these. And by the way, they do not have to reside directly in the center of these. They can be a little bit lower. So what we need to do is parent the locators to one another as follows. You need to parent the toe locator to the heel locator. So shift and hit P. And you need to um, parent the ball locator to your toe locator, like so. So once again, this one, the toe to the heel and the ball to the toe, parenting them, okay? Now let's parent the IK handles to the locators, okay? The IK handles to the locators. So select both the ankle IK and the ball IK. Here's my ankle. Shift select the ball, all right? And we're going to parent them to the ball locator. Here's the ball locator. Shift P. Okay, cool. Now you need to also parent the toe IK to the toe locator. So the toe IK to the toe locator. Okay, now next up we need to create a foot control, which we've actually already done here. I did that earlier. And um, several attributes in the um, channel list, which I'll do shortly. Okay, so now we have the um, foot control uh, selected. Make sure it's zeroed out. We're gonna add an attribute to it by coming up to edit add attribute. Now this particular attribute we're going to add, we'll call it heel control. Like that. Okay. Now we'll get the minimum value of say minus 10. Right? Maximum of 10. And the default will set at zero. And then click, oh and it's a float type float. Heel control minus 10 zero. Okay, and you'll notice the attribute has popped up here. Okay, here it is. So whenever we click this, you'll see it. Now next up, what we want to do is um, have that affect the roll of our foot. So what we want to do is go and open up the um, connection editor, which is under Windows, General Editors, Connection Editor. Boink, looks like this. Now. Um, select the heel locator and load it into the right window. So heel locator, where is it? It's over here. So reload right, there we go, heel loc. And we've got the foot control here, see? Foot control, heel locator. Okay, so what we want to do next is actually um, basically uh, we need to take the, how you say, scroll all the way down and find heal the attribute we created, which is right down here it is. Click in heal control. And you want to attach those to the rotate value of our locator, the heal locator. So come right down to locate, see? Rotate, sorry. Open that and click rotate X, Y, and Z depending on where you want them to rotate, what it should affect. Now I should be able to close that. And by the way, if you want to do that for, if you want to take, uh, create a, a roll for the ball and for the toe, you do exactly the same. You create attributes for those. I'm going to close that. Let's now test it. Here's our heel control. Middle mouse, click and drag, and there it's working. Okay, you can see it actually moving. There it is. Okay, guys, so if you wanted to create another one, I'll put this back to zero for the ball. So you come back into here and create a edit, add attribute and call it ball control. And the same minimum of um, minus 10, maximum of 10, zero. Now you have two, a heel and a ball. Okay, so I'll let you work out how to do the ball and the heel. 
uh, sorry, the ball and the toe. All right, guys, thanks for watching.